Hey everyone, it's Zach here and this evening I'm just going to talk about my workbench. I'm kind of doing this for myself as things are going to be changing and uh, I want to document this because I really liked this configuration here and I want to take this with me or the knowledge of it with me to um, wherever we go. So first of all dimensions it's eight feet and three feet. I went with the three feet because when I first built the bench I had my three drawer craftsman boxes and I wanted them to sit against the wall and pull them out and still have a little bit of room in the front to work on. Since that though I've bought this cabinet if you will, this tool cabinet deal which will go through that. but. Uh, yeah, I went a little bit, I think typically you do maybe two feet. I like the three feet. Um, I have this, which I absolutely love. A couple USBs and a lot of outlets. It's really nice to have it right there. Anything you're working on outside of the bench, you know where the plugins are. You're not reaching to the wall or looking around for a plug-in. You know you have plenty of power right here for general stuff. As long as you're not running, uh, you know, five heat guns or something. Um, it's a nice power strip. I think I'll, yeah, yeah, I think I'll have that again. Uh, I got this little shelf, which one thing I wanted to do was add, like, all the way over because I have a lot of, like, propane tanks and a lot of paint cans and a lot of that stuff hangs out over here on that little plastic shelving thing, which that's its own story, but, um, so if I could add that, I would. And I'd probably make it a little wider. I'd probably have, it's like a four inch board. I'd probably have like a six inch board. Cause those propane tanks are pretty wide. This is how I do my uh, workbench light. Just plug it in, unplug it. Um, I actually prefer it to hang out over here. So it's not so much in the way. Must have had something else plugged in here for a minute, but uh, I normally have it that way. And that's, that's fine. You know, the, the cord, sure whatever but I, I don't mind that it's easy enough uh, but things are a little disorganized I had them better before but we're just gonna go over it anyways um, normally this is on the bottom but I was messing with my ice auger which was just been giving me a hard time but this is my compression gauge got o-rings there's a tap and die set and I believe this is like a ball joint press or uh, yeah, something like that. Get some gasket stuff and uh, heat shrink and connecting pieces, crimp connectors. So there are uh, fuel line connections, I guess you'd say, or fuel line crimps. I prefer the other style, but these ones are nice because you can use your fingers to get them on and off. These little plastic drawers are constantly breaking if you drop them or hit them with anything they break, but a lot of the stuff in these is relatively random, but you kind of need these for a little bit of some organization. Just have randoms in here, but like there's some grease gun bits in there. And I know this is like my small hardware wing nuts. And this one back here is, there's more grease stuff in here and connectors. I mean, it's kind of some randoms, but you can look at them at a glance and see what's going on inside of them. Some carriage bolts, just stuff. As they get sloshed around, they get completely disorganized. His stuff kind of sneaks over, but that's okay. I do, I like these, they're stackable. You can see in them, they're nice. I have four propane tanks up here and some wood glue, quarter inch rubber fuel line, and then some lighter stuff for like breather hoses and stuff like that. Some stuff takes lighter, like two stroke uh, weed eaters and stuff take this lighter stuff, but I like it to be clear. Um, I had a whole bunch of clear stuff and I burned through it. So uh, I gotta get more clear because you can see if it's air bubbles or what's going on, you can actually physically see the fuel going through it. Someone had asked um, what kind of fuel shutoffs I like. I just get these cheap ones. Uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, on off and you can spend the extra money, but for like five bucks, you can get a whole, like a whole box of these. 
Um, and these are really cheap fuel filters that I really prefer not to use. They're more of a throwaway style. Uh, but in here, this is just my box of fuel filters and stuff. Here's some little bit nicer ones. I prefer these, a little bit fancier. Um, and these crimps are the better crimps for doing fuel lines. They're wider, they're like a band style. But I got just, it's just my uh, thing. I'm actually kind of due for some new shut offs. I went through quite a few of them, so. Yeah, they're cheap enough where you use one and you throw it away and it's not a big deal, but they're nice enough where they just work. Um, and honestly, you should be looking at your equipment like yearly or a couple times a year. So if something starts leaking, you just swap it out real quick. Um, Self-drilling tappers, cotter pins. Everybody needs these for all sorts of stuff. Terminal set that's been dumped in the ground so it's all dirty. <laughs> Uh, these are all metric. I need to get one of these at standard. Went through a lot of those. A lot of the stuff is Harbor Freight. It's, it's good enough. Fuses and connectors. But this kind of like all that random stuff. More fuses. These are just chilling here. Just using my uh, other cart. Gallon bags. They come in really handy for stuff like this. That's all the hardware for our hutch that we're redoing. Um, this is all the hardware for the engine. A lot of people are like, how on earth do you keep track of all that? Well, most things that are manufactured uh, for the simplistic nature of manufacturing, they use um, anywhere from one to three, maybe five different uh, bolt types. And it's real easy once you kind of, once you take it apart, you know, they only fit one way or whatever. You, you can just look at it and kind of tell. So that's how, you know, you take it apart and you pay attention to it and you put it back together. Bullets. <laughs> um, yeah, this is, this is honestly mainly how it is. I mean, normally there's a whole heap of crap here. Um, but I just, I get like three or four projects going at a time and I love it. You bounce around, you never get bored. And that's just how I roll. So this has been a pretty loyal, my uh, Ryobi impact driver. Love it for bolts. That thing will twist off a bolt, no problem. It's pretty torquey. Got this as a gift from my in-laws. It has come in handy so many times. This was the axle pounder on the Argo in 2019. Still fits. I don't know what this is, a 19 mil? 18 mil? 18 mil. And uh, it still works. So I was gonna send it to Craftsman for a refund, but... Um, just to see how that would go, but uh, it still works, so it lives here. <laughs> but I have it mostly complete. Um, the extra ones, you'll see where those are probably floating around, but really good set. I think everybody should have a set like this. These actually come in handy a lot, and I'm missing some, so I'm gonna have to uh, find those. Some bits for this thing. If you get these boxes, you don't necessarily have to get new boxes every time, but draw on them like that. This one here is all bits. And then this one here I didn't draw on because it's all like drill bits. And then in the bag itself is more bits. So this bag isn't just impact driver stuff, it's also just regular drill stuff. I have an actual drill bag, which you'll see, that has all sorts of stuff in it too, but it's kind of interchangeable. So I just, I would grab both bags if I was gonna go somewhere and be working like on stuff like that. Little pad of paper, um, comes in handy. I guess this is the person I talked to. One of the people I talked to when I sold the camper, but uh, part numbers and stuff. I like to take pictures, but then physically writing them down. Sometimes your pictures, you can't really make out the numbers. So writing it down is kind of nice. This is for bleeding brakes. This is my half inch kit. I got this from my grandma like a long time ago. It's uh, die hard. I've used it as a jack stand and it survived. So <laughs> very nice. I, I enjoy Craftsman tools. I can't really vouch that they're any better or worse than anything else, but I like Craftsman, but I run a lot of Harbor Freight stuff. This is my true randoms bin. I mean, if I'm looking for something, it's in here typically. You can see we got hinges, big springs, chains, um, just a plethora of stuff. So I think everybody has this. Some people try to organize it out, not me. Throw it all in there and then you only have one spot to look. That's a 
uh, cutter thing, you put this on your uh, weed whip, chops the brush. It's a pretty beast, but you got the, the my weed whip didn't care for it, but it uh, it survived. <laughs> Earplugs, as time goes on, I'm more of a fan of stuff like that. A box of earplugs is like 30 bucks, and I've had this box now for two years, and uh, I have those and these muffs. And I like the muffs because you can put earbuds in and still get your ear protection, wear those over. But the plugs come in nice if uh, for different scenarios. So I like these for cutting wood. Put those on and those, and then you get like double protection. Battery charger, more propane. I guess I got some night quill up here. Some bearings. Harbor Freight welder, which I've talked about a little bit, but uh, yeah, just some welder stuff. I'd love to get something nicer, but I don't weld all that much at home. It's not, I weld for work. I get enough uh, of it there, and uh, I've never really thought about doing it from home because that's just annoying. I love these magnets. These are four inch and then this is like a tray. These things are sweet. These definitely changed my life. And then this here has the keys that actually lock the cabinet if I could shut the lid. So, um, but yeah, I get those magnet trays. They're real handy. I love them. Wish I had, those ones all get full. So I'll probably get more. I want, I want more of the big trays. Okay, this is a Husky thing. I think they were maybe running a special on it because it was like $2.98 when I bought it. And I think at Home Depot when I was there, it was like $3.98 now, but still a good deal. By the way, this is a four inch vise and I find it about perfect for everything. Uh, rarely do I need something bigger than this four inch. Some people have these huge ones and I don't know. I like this four inch vise, it's nice. Uh, yeah, so the tool chest thing here. Yeah, Husky brand. Um, and we'll just kind of get through it here. So the top is a little bit of a catch-all, but in general there's stuff that I would grab more often, but they're kind of one of one. So gloves, huge fan of gloves now. Um, used to not be so much, and I still go through times when I'm not, but I try to wear them when I'm messing with gas and stuff so it doesn't um, sick, get into my skin. Uh, my earmuffs. Little paint cap with all my pens. I got some uh, levels and some little hangy hooks. We got feeler gauges and a spark plug, um, gapper, some C-clamps, some locks for some trailers and some tape. Temperature readout. This one beeps at me normally because it's too cold out um, and it just doesn't, yeah, it just doesn't have the low temp. Oh, 32. So it's nice to have the redundancy to see what it's outside. Um, we have all the stuff for soldering because I find I do that sometimes. Battery cleaner, wire terminals. I have a whole box up top filled with all my electrical junk. But uh, it's annoying to grab out the ladder just to grab a wire nut. So I have a little baggie of them on here. A couple different size torches. A decent pressure gauge. I actually have like three or four other pressure gauges in here. Here's three of them. Um, yeah, <laughs> a couple pump up things. Another one here, just kind of taken apart. These always go bad, so it's nice to have a couple of them. My torch, I really like the kind that are self lighting. Um, I didn't have them for a long time. I just had these old school, if you will, ones. And uh, it's just nice not having to search for a lighter all the time. Aluminum tape and duct tape, safety glasses, multimeter with little alligator extension clips, which come in handy all the time, valve stem tool, rubber connectors for that brake bleeder thing I talked about, keys, more locks. All these locks are honestly for locking trailer tongs. They're the perfect size. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, and the extendable magnet, which if you don't have one of these, get one. How many times do you drop something in the middle of a engine bay or whatever and you can't get it? That will save your life. All right, you see the Velcro on the front? That is for remotes and stuff. So you can stick a remote on here. It's not a perfect system, but at least you know where your remote is. You can rip it off of there. Honestly, most of the time they're living right here, but when this becomes too much, sticking them here is kind of nice. 
Normally I have my orange level on here, but that's inside. Okay, left drawer. Allen wrenches, pins. Sometimes you need a pin. Allen wrenches, these are called tip cleaners. They're actually for tips like your uh, propane torches or welding torches, but they work fantastic because they're all these different sizes. They work fantastic for cleaning carbs. This is a long version and this is the short version and they are amazing. And in this box is my Torx bits. You can also use these on Allen's, so they come in very handy all the time. It's nice to have a little set of them because otherwise you're digging through your, your bag trying to find them. Right side is cutting, so we have all sorts of knives. This one's from my great-grandfather. I never knew him, but uh, he loved these Barlow knives. Got this one from my dad. Got this from my dad. It's a Ozark Trail multi-tool. Charade knife I got from my dad when I shot my first deer. Exacto knife. These are for cutting copper pipes. I got a couple different sizes. Got blades down there. Pack of blades. Um, these knives are pretty sweet. They take these little razor blades, or like your, your um, Stanley blades, um, but they're very sharp, so you kinda gotta be careful. But that's what's in there, all sorts of knives. Screwdrivers, that's pretty self-explanatory. I have a bunch of different brands, like I said. Husky's a good brand, except for when you use them like a pry bar. Um, Harbor Freight's a good brand, so. I will just, I think I got Stanley in here too, yeah. Just whatever pack is kind of cheapest is kind of how I roll. Tape measures. Got this little tiny one when I bought a uh, gasket kit for an engine. I don't know why they gave it to me. Uh, all sorts of stuff in here for measuring different things. Also have that carpenter square. Metric, standard. This little paper thing was in a box. It's like a corner piece. Works great for dividing them. Some people have them perfectly lined up. I don't wrench it. I mean, I wrench a lot, but I don't care to use, you know, you'd have to have like two or three drawers worth of wrenches, and I just don't have that space. So this is how they live, and this is how they work. Um, ratcheting ones are sick. They're like 80 bucks though, so hopefully one day I'll get a set of ratcheting ones. But right now I have three sets over here of, you know, 13, 13, 13. Um, and I have two sets of everything over here. Except for the really big ones, I just have one set. Hand tools or whatever. I also got some wire in here because these and these go hand in hand. But I just, it's hand tools. I got files to sharpen the chainsaw, regular files, wire strippers. And this is honestly what happens when you just can't find your tools. You just buy them. More and more of them until you got way too many. This is a nice size crescent wrench, and that's why I don't have too many big wrenches, is because normally I can get the other end of it with a crescent wrench. This is a welper, welder's pliers. Can uh, tighten the cone, tighten the tip, cut the wire, clean the cone, that's why these are so long. You put them in there and you wrap them around. And you can use them like a hammer. <laughs> Bottom side, all the spare sockets that I have and wrenches, so I went and bought a whole 10 mil pack or I think I got it as a gift from my wife. So I have like so many 10 mils. I am in love. Look at all these. All different sizes, all different sizes on the other side. I mean, it's beautiful. Ooh, and my wife got me this and I haven't used it yet. I've been scared to. It's so nice, I don't want to ruin it. I remember seeing commercials for those and I thought that was cool. Uh, black is for impact, which so is silver. Everything's for impact. And some big specialty sockets, which get beat up. and But you need them every once in a while. And then a torque wrench, which I never, I never use, honestly. Um, probably should use it more, but yeah, that's really it. I guess I do use this sometimes, but uh, not really. This long bar and these are for putting belts on cars. This is for a uh, um, ah, oxygen sensor. Yeah. Normally that half inch set's in here. This is a bendy one. Normally that half inch set lives in here, but it's not right now. Oh yeah, and all sorts of extensions too, which have also been used like uh, battering rams. Next drawer. 
hammers and pry bars and brushes. The old cat's paw from construction. That thing's actually pretty handy. Little mall. Let me see what's in there. Pretty simple stuff. It's supposed to be another hammer in here, but it's in the house. Just a little bit of everything. I bought this, filled it up, and immediately thought I should go buy a second one, but I didn't. Okay, down here is more randoms. This here, I believe, yep, my wife bought me this years ago when we first moved out. I think I've used it once, but I'll forever keep it because it's uh, it was really thoughtful of her. It was a gift, and, uh, and something like this is perfect. Uh, you throw it in your car or something like that, but I just sentimentally kind of keep it and I don't want to use it because I, I just I remember when she gave that to me and we were very poor for a long time and she bought that for me and I thought that was just like I was just starting to get in the tools and stuff and I thought that's so cool gasket materials cutting your own gaskets zip ties a rivet gun staple gun this is for doing um, axle boots valve grinding compound with valve stuff these are actually the gaskets that I got that little rinky-dink tape measure in. I don't know why they gave that to me. Fuel line uh, takeoff tool. Getting a little bit of the tools here, so palm sander. and You can see I'm not loyal to any brand. I don't think there's... There's not two brands in here that are the same <laughs> in this drawer. But, you know, heat gun, jigsaw... Uh, this light. I used to use this light all the time. No, I don't. Nice light though. It's been through. It's been through some stuff. This is the uh, uh, plastic welding tool. Saws all. Oh. If you guys have questions, let me know. Angle grinder that gets used a lot, and uh, I like these bags because. A lot of times, you know, like, oh, my mom will call, she'll need some help. I can easily yank it out. And that's actually why I like those drawers, the three drawers, because you can take it with you. They just got so full, I couldn't close them anymore or take them with me. Um, skill saw, drill, impact. This is a Harbor Freight Impact. This thing is so loyal. I've had it for years. It just never dies. It's, it has plenty of power, too. The other drill bag with... Uh, more drill stuff in it so like i said if i was going to grab my drill i grabbed that bag in the other bag and uh got some clamps on the side but yeah she's pretty i'd say it's relatively full i could use a second one to get more of the stuff i guess off the bench but uh yeah really that's it this is a cool knife this is like a swiss army knife but it has like a lot of stuff on it and I actually find that this little screwdriver comes in handy all the time for glasses or stuff like that. It also has a pen, a toothpick, and what's the third one? Oh yeah, tweezers. <laughs> this thing's really cool. I wish I had like a belt clip on it because I would uh, probably every day carry that thing. Um, so that's just kind of my setup. And like I said, I wanted to document it, kind of show what I have. I don't think I would make any changes to it other than the shelf and uh, maybe a secondary cabinet. But the way that it rolls right now, if it's organized and I keep it organized, I have a lot of workspace there. And my wife got me this nice cart and that comes in re really handy working on stuff because I can uh, put tools on it or set tools on it and it uh, and it rolls underneath the bench. That little spot there it rolls right underneath. No big deal. So that's my current setup and I just thought I would do a video on it. Of course you guys seen the air, onboard air that I have um, which is always ready to go. Runs up and over. Not sure if the box is going to come with or not. We'll have to see, but yeah, up and over. Oh, I left the light on. Sits in the box here. Real quiet. I do love that. There's nothing I, I don't, I like noise, but having an air compressor kick on and run and run and run, gosh, is that ever just annoying? So this really, I could show you guys this, I guess. I could find my air chuck. 
my other one. I don't know. I won't. I don't need to show you guys. But regardless, that makes it real quiet. So that is the gist of what I have right now. And uh, I guess I'll have to do more updating as time goes on. But uh, it's nice in here. Got the heat going. It's beautiful. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you in the uh, next video.